have to cut the piece off and so I can finish it today. That's amazing. So are different hides harder to do? Different well, types of hides? Or are they hides are hard to do because they're very tiny and very delicate. Okay. I never do deer hides because I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'll probably rip them all up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Wow. But you have to work really dainty on them. Yeah. They can take us really, really thin. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I like doing elk hides. Mm, yeah. They're in between moose. Deer. Yeah. They're not too thick. They're not too, too thin. My daughter did the uh, elk hide all by herself while I was cutting meat. So it was that easy to do. Nice. And the fur is kind of flat. It's not really thick like the one you see here. Yeah. yeah. Can I? Sh can you show me your tool up? I'm just taking a little video. I want to show this cool tool that my cool. <laughs> the, the teeth. Show me the teeth that you made in it. This is the piece I made. And which which kind of bone is that again? This is moose. I wanted an elk, but I didn't get it. Yeah. Because elk hides are very sharp tools. Really? These are kind of dull, but they still do. Yeah. You got to keep filing them though. Yeah. And keep extending the teeth as you use them. Wow. Yeah. And so they must get. Do they get filed down? Like, do they get filed down quick, or they yeah, last? Yeah, they do. Especially with a hide like this. Yeah. You have to get down there and file it more often and 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 do the teeth more often. Wow. And then after the sharp you can go really good and mm -hmm. then you can feel it that's getting dull. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Okay.